Hey guys, I just got a package. Um, I'm trying to share um, the video with you guys um, to update you with the new hair review. This one is from Sam's Beauty. I got it from Sam's Beauty. Um, this one is by Queen Hair, Brazilian Virgin Hair. It's a full lace wig. And let me show you what I got. So this is the M uh lace from wig l part cherry i believe this was like 88 dollars it came to like a total of 94 but i got other stuff um this is a real pretty it says 100 percent natural indian temple remy human hair 12 a grade and this has a repeated so i don't know what that means but that must be some good stuff okay so I'm thinking about doing the wild growth hair challenge. A lot of people have said um, that they got good growth results with this oil. So I'm definitely about to try this. Um, tried it before, but I didn't try it with consistency. So I the, the reason why I like this oil in the first place is because it made my hair softer, um, natural. So I got some couple of other goodies. I got me... Um, I should have really opened this before I got on the camera with you guys. For real, for real. So I, don't need to do I got me some 24 hour colored edges by Eben New York. This is like hands down the best edge control. And I probably got like 4A hair. So it's the best edge control. And I always make my edges fuller. I've always had thin edges. So to make my edges fuller. I just use black mascara, but now since they have a color edge control, I'm going to try this out and review this too. And last but not least, you know I had to get my Gorilla Snot um, edge control type of thing. And the whole meter on this thing, this thing says it's a 10 and this, this is punk. Now this is my first time trying Gorilla Snot, so we'll see how this works. So this is the packaging. Um... It's hard one handedness because my assistant is not helping me. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it comes in this little pretty box. There's a cloth, and this is what it's looking like. It comes with a care card, obviously. This is the one that I have purchased, so that's lovely. That's a 12 inch bob. L part. I'm really about to hook this up. Um, you can see the the style card there, and this is this is it fresh out the box. So I'm definitely gonna come back in another um, take and let you guys know um, some specs on the wig and everything else. But yeah, just stay tuned and watch. So the unit is definitely a nice unit for the summer. It's 12 inches. Um, it comes in when you first get it, it's gonna look like a curly little afro kind of thing. But I washed it and I combed it out and I applied my LA uh humidity gel. You can get it from Dollar Tree for a dollar or Walmart for a dollar, but it's um the LA Sport gel and it just has a beautiful hole like this, which I really like this bob. Once you wet it and put gel on it, it just comes to life. Um, I really didn't like it when I first saw it like out the pack how the curls were. I like my curls to look wet. But this is like a cute bob. I just added a flower. This queen hair wig, it does shed a little bit when you wet it. But all any curly wig I've had, when you put water on it, it sheds. But when you have this wig and you're just wearing it, it doesn't shed. But when you put water on it, it will shed. So when I deal with this, this one thing, this is a like curl that I didn't scrunch back. But this is definitely a cute little wig. I love it. I'm probably gonna get another one. Perfect for the summertime and the heat when you don't when you want that Brazilian look, but you don't want all of those inches making your head hot. It's definitely lightweight too. It's not heavy. Um I definitely made baby hairs, my more baby hairs in the front and mine, like tweeze the hairline a little bit more, but it's really not necessary because it already comes 
with dips in the hairline. It's like a Swiss kind of lace, so the lace is kind of visible if you want it to push it all the way up on your hairline. It is kind of visible because of the type of lace that it is, you have to apply foundation over it to get it to blend with your skin. Um, cap construction, it has two combs, you know, on each side. It's a L part, so you know it wraps around. It's a short piece of hair right there. I'm going to have to draw that down. But yeah, it wraps around, and it has a comb in the back. That's all I pretty much need um, for security. If you need more security, you can add bobby pins to this. Um, this just reminded me of an effortless look. You just wet your hair and go. Like this is this is getting out your door. Even if you didn't have a lot of makeup on, you still would look cute with this. Like that's why I put baby hair in the front too to make it. So if I decided that I didn't want to. Um, wear a lot of makeup this is definitely a good look all i would have to do is put my eyebrows on or put the powder on my eyebrows and go like a little bb cream go and it would look cute definitely gonna get another one for um this was 88 dollars i believe at sam's beauty a lot of people were saying it was sold out um but this is definitely a style seal especially because I, I, I'm done with the whole synthetic wig thing. Like, it was fun when I first was, like, learning how to care for wigs. But now that I know how to care for wigs, I'm pretty much going to do inexpensive human hair wigs. Um, you can own synthetic wigs for a long time, just as long as you have human wigs. But I just, pref I've been preferring now at this point in time, like, before I was changing my hair up a lot when I was younger, like a like a young twenty in my young twenties, I would want different hair colors, and it was affordable, like forty dollars for a lace front. You know who could really beat that? So you're able to switch up your style every day, which that's what I love about the synthetic wig. But now that I'm like older and I don't switch my hair as much, I just like long black hair long brazilian hair i don't really do the colors as much so it's really no purpose for me to get a lot of synthetic wigs and i'd rather buy a human hair wig that i know it's gonna have a natural luster it's gonna not ball up in matte and even if it does ball up in matte i could just wash it and it's back to normal with the futura fiber you would have to flat iron it and curl it back not a big deal but it's like now i'm just i'm not at the point where i'm like um trying to do all of that so I'm into the human hair wigs, especially now that they're becoming more affordable. And I think this this is like 100% Brazilian. It's grade 12A hair. Um, yeah, so definitely check this out, y'all. If they still have it at Sam's Beauty, I would snatch this up because this is a style seal. Um, I don't know. Like, this is like an off... I don't know if they're an off-name brand, but it's not like the the normal companies that you see that are that all the YouTubers do, um, like Outre or Sensational. This is like Queen Hair. So definitely check this out. Um, I'm gonna put this review up on their site and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys like the wig. I definitely I'm going to add cute hairstyles. That you can wear this wig in. Um, you don't have to just wear the wig with the part. As you can see, I added a flower to mine. So, have a good day, guys. All right, y'all. So this is the Queen Hair um, unit that we discussed. The Queen Hair L Part Jerry wig, the 100% Brazilian um, hair, and this is what it looks like. I've washed it. I kind of tweeze the hairline when you get it the hairline is kind of like pre-tweezed anyway and you'll see little baby hairs because it comes with little baby hairs but I always um try to adjust my mind and I lay down right now because of humidity but this is what it looks like so far in the natural light it only comes in one color too like natural so this is it so far